me is the Seven Hills Mayor, Anthony Biasiata. He was nominated, of course, by one of our uh, officers, Pierre Bichani, and approved by everyone else for his outstanding leadership serving the city of Seven Hills as President of Council and now as Mayor for his career spanning over 30 years of experience in business and finance, for his leadership in supporting nationality issues, especially your support in the past year or so for Ukraine and its fight for freedom and autonomy. for your leadership serving on numerous boards, including trustee of the Greater Cleveland Transit Authority and vice chair of the board of directors of Clark County Land Bank. And of course, for your strong support of family, God, and our movement. Therefore, we present you with this year's uh, Freedom Award from the American Nationality Movement. Congratulations on behalf of the City Council. Thank you, Councilman. Big fan of this gentleman's career. Always fighting for the neighborhood, right here. Amen. Okay, they deserve this recognition. So, Ken, 
Mary Ellen, Carol, Bob, and Eileen. Thank you. Uh, the successes of this honor is not just for me tonight, it's for you. You've played a big part in the So, most of you know, but I've got to talk about the mission of American nationalities. This is why it's important to me. This group was formed for the purpose of uniting nationalities in the United States with the goal to educate, advocate, and represent the varied interests of the diverse economic groups that make up Greater Cleveland. This goal deeply resonates with me. My philosophy in life, and as a leader, has always been a high tide raises all ships. Therefore, I've always been faithful to my family and friends and ready to answer the call when needed and I invest my time and energy as a leader on the 80% of the things that unite the community that we agree upon as opposed to focus on the 20% of the things that might divide us at times. For those of you that may not know, my background is 100% Italian. Not my background, my ethnic background. I am very proud of that heritage. Growing up, my grandmother frequently reminded me, reminded us, a lot of grandchildren, that our nationality is Italian. Probably heard it every week my whole life growing up. However, what she's quick to also say, while your nationality is Italian, we are 100% American. And yeah. Being American is both a privilege and a responsibility. It's said in early. Uh, I'm going to talk about the privilege really quick. Tonight is also our annual Captive Nations Dinner, an evening dedicated to bringing awareness to the nations under undemocratic regimes. This Captive Nation list has been around ever since President Eisenhower, and every president since then has found a purpose for updating the list. It's been a completely bipartisan thing. The nations on this list do not have a life the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, but we do as Americans. But it's so much more than that. So nothing throughout history has improved the quality of people's life more than trade, commerce, and competition, all of which can be restrictive in a captive nation. When people have the ability to decide for themselves how to live, worship, and purchase they ultimately, in total, have resided a higher standard of living for that nation and improved the living for everyone. This is in much contrast to the captive nations that do not have the ability to decide for themselves. And I think there's no greater illustration of what I'm talking about was during the Cold War with West and East Germany. If anyone ever saw the photograph of the countries of Germany, West Germany, East Germany, before the wall fell. At night, West Germany was illuminated and the cities were bustling. East Germany was pretty much the exact same as it was after the war and did not have electricity. One had a free market and the ability to choose for themselves. Others were oppressed under an undemocratic regime. And many in this room, these words will resonate. President Reagan went and said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. That was not to keep the people divided. It was to unite people. And let's remember that that's part of the mission of the American Nationalities Movement. So those kind of a little bit about the privilege of being American. Live, worship, trade, competition, the people with a better product, move ahead, but a lot of times everybody lifts with that. All high tide raises all ships. Now I want to talk about what I think my grandma was saying about it's also a responsibility. The earliest hook I got in public service was from my grandma. She took me to Meals on Wheels in the basement of Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish on the west side of Cleveland. And I love spending time with my grandma. But it also was a great feeling helping people. Got nothing for it. I might have read or watched the Flintstones. <laughs> but the feeling you had when you're helping people. But not only that, it wasn't just about that feeling. 
It was about her responsibility. She didn't have to be there. The other women making the meals and the men delivering back then, they didn't have to be there. They had a choice. They chose to be there to give back to the community that's been so well to them. And that was the beginning. We're going to take that out and play it a little later. We have the privilege, now we have the responsibility. We have a responsibility to educate ourselves on issues, register to vote, and stand up what we believe in. Ronald Reagan also said that freedom is not free, it's only a generation away from being extinct. And if you look at the captive nations list, year after year, guess what? The nations changed. Just a few years ago, Ukraine wasn't on the list. Sadly, it's now on the list. We have a responsibility as being the brightest shining star in the country that people gravitate to. And before anyone gets off on a tangent, let's remember we want to unite the nationalities. We are a nation of immigrants, and let's keep it simple. I think everyone I've talked to is pro-immigration, but don't confuse that with being anti-illegal immigration. I just find it so simple. I don't know why we make it so simple. <laughs> Together, we stand united, we fall. That goes back to the Founding Fathers. It's true today, it'll be true tomorrow, but there's a right way to do things and a wrong way. So, I want to wrap up. We have a responsibility as Americans. Whatever our perceived law are, this is still the greatest nation in the world, the beacon, the shining light that other people gravitate to. The world is a safer place when America is strong, and we are stronger together. So, I'll just wrap it up. We have a responsibility as Americans and members of this organization to understand freedom to protect freedom and be willing to sacrifice for freedom because with it we are all better. Thank you.